Hello and welcome to Ulysses Spila Torg Eternity Character Creation. Uh, looks like my mic is working today, which is great. <laughs> so if you are in the chat, I just want to say hello. Uh, I'm Robert Aducci. I'm the social media and community manager for uh, Ulysses uh, Spila English. And um, we are creating a character for Torg Eternity. Uh, this is my first character that I've ever created for Torg. And uh, with the help of... Uh, people in chat last time we started to create a core earther uh, a human <clears throat> just kind of keep things simple and um and then we started creating you know picking some skills and then our perks and uh even though i wanted to keep things simple i always kind of go back to these old tropes that i that i enjoy personally and so we ended up creating a martial arts character so one of our perks was brawler actually let's get over to let me show you that character sheet one of the perks was Brawler, and the other one is Psionics. And so, of course, that's going to complicate things a little bit. Um, we didn't get any further than that. And um, what we need to do now is actually go back and uh, go back and change some of our skills. Because for Psionics, let's go find that, uh, you have to have certain prerequisites. So let's go look at the... First, the psionic skills, like which psionics do we want to take? And so, looking at the skill disk, skill list, thanks 40 below for yeah, saying that you could hear me, which is great. <laughs> uh, they're not spelled out here, but there are three psionic skills, uh, and it's going to be, let's see, what were they? Um divination no no that's a magic skill let's see fire came out first aid it's here somewhere I think it, I thought it was kinesis no <clears throat> uh, kinesis yeah uh, so kinesis is one that we need oh well one of the three that we can pick which is kinesis is those with psionic spark use kinesis for powers that move matter or energy and that is based off of spirit so kinesis based on spirit if we look at our spirit that was one of the things we ended up lowering so our spirit is only six so we could change things up a little bit to get that if we wanted but it would uh, necessitate a bit of a retool for the character uh, so there's kinesis which i like those powers uh we'll talk about them later the specific powers uh, i do like those powers for that for this character but it would take a bit of of change and then the other ones are precognition so that goes off of mind we have a good mind so pre precognition would also be good uh, for this character as well uh, and we'll talk about that that's you know seeing the future and stuff like that so we'll talk about that when we get there uh, so precognition mind and then the other one uh, was telepathy and that goes off of charisma and um, so tele telepaths can use the skill to read minds detect emotions or perceive the world outside of their own five senses so those are the three sort of skills um, let's go check out the psionics perk just to make sure we're doing everything correctly so here's psionic uh, so you have to have at least one add, so at least one skill add, at least one skill point in kinesis, precognition, or telepathy. So, uh, like I said, I'm feeling either kinesis or precognition. Not really feeling telepathy for this character. Um, but psionics, psionics or size tap into the collective consciousness represented by the social axiom for incredible powers. They can use this to read minds, move matter and energy, and sometimes even see or predict aspects of the future. Psionics can develop anywhere the social axiom is high enough, but like magic or miracles, just because it can doesn't mean it has yet. When the side takes this perk, she may choose any three powers from her Cosm's power list on page 206. Oh, okay, that's one thing I missed last time. So we can take three powers from our power list. So this might this this is going to probably necessitate a lot of change then. If we're going to get three powers, unless we like seriously focus on one um, one of those skills. So let's go look at those. Uh, page 206. <clears throat> hmm. All right. So 
here's our power list alter uh so available powers below are the powers that the character from each cosm may choose when the psionic perk is taken court with sinus is rare and usually only manifests a single psionic skill additional materials may entirely may add entirely new powers and lists to select from so the we're, we're an anomaly from core earth so we can have alter memory awareness clairvoyance clarity cloud mind all these here uh, so we would have to kind of go look um, at all these powers which will which we'll go through with some of these right now but um, we get to pick three of them so let's go take a look uh, again we're you know we're gonna skip telepathy powers so we're basically looking at awareness and um, sorry clairvoyance and uh, kinesis uh, awareness is a good power you you need precognition of eight and I'm assuming this means eight total skills uh, let's go look at that uh, in the sonic section it's a pretty cool picture skill the total kinesis precognition or telepathy skill required to learn the power yeah so um, we're gonna look at we're looking at awareness which would be an eight let's go look at our character just for for just to put it down here let's let's put down the skills we would need so um, for the mind power right it'd be mind and it would be uh, clairvoyance and the other one was kinesis and that was a spirit and our spirit right now is only six whereas our mind is nine so we're automatically good so that means we would only need one point to put to put one point from our skill adds into clairvoyance now if we wanted mind I'm, I'm sorry if we wanted uh, spirit and we had to be get up to 10 because you have to have um, a minimum of 10 for something so I'm kind of getting ahead when you I looked at this these other powers so this one had a precognition of eight so we automatically make it obviously we still need a uh, we still need at least one add in order to use a skill, uh, a psionic skill. So we would have to use at least one, but we would automatically have this one because we have uh, a high enough natural mind. Uh, we could also have, see a lot of these have like higher levels that you need. Uh, so telepathy, telepathy, <clears throat> energize. So there would be kinesis. So just in order to use this power, which I think, I think eight was the the, the lowest um, that I saw. And that was for awareness. Uh, for kinesis, I think ten is the lowest that I saw. And so, in order to have that, we would have to put um, four points in skill adds, which we can't do because you can only have three for a starting character. So that means we would necessarily have to change our mind, literally change our mind to a lower number to raise our spirit so that we could get kinesis so again that's why i was saying it's a big it's a big jump to get there um whoops <clears throat> so let's go back and look and see what powers that we could have so we saw awareness foreshadow is precog 14 oh that's what it's not not clairvoyance it's precog precognition Right? Is that right? Um, yeah, precognition. And so, let's see. Foreshadow would be the next one, but that's probably still too high for us. That's telepathy, 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 kinesis. Psychic shield. Read mind. Precog 12 for psychometry. That's the closest. Kinesis 10 for telekinesis. So, and there's more kinesis. So, it looks like there's only really a few telepathic powers, or sorry, uh, precog powers. Uh, we've got psychometry, there's a lot of telepathy, and a lot of kinesis. Um, telepathy, telepathy, precog, there's foreshadow, but that's 14. <clears throat> so 
we're, we're kind of coming up against a little issue. So awareness we can use. Yeah, so that's that's all I'm seeing, right? I'm seeing awareness, uh, foreshadow, which is precog 14, which we can't even get to right now. Um, and psychometry. Yeah, it looks like those are the only the three three powers. So let's see. I mean, I guess we could take those three powers and we just couldn't use them yet. I'm not sure. Let's see for the skill um, prerequisites, what it says. So scrolling back up. And if anybody is in the chat and you have any ideas on this, uh, you know, I'm still learning psionics. I'm so I'm still learning this whole system. So I did a quick read through of this earlier, but I'm definitely not an expert by any means. So choosing powers, a character can choose powers when she takes a psionic perk. Once a power is learned, it can be activated at any time. Size can choose any three powers allowed from their cosm from the available powers list. The character must have the appropriate psionic skill at a high enough level to take the power. So we cannot take that power, those powers at all. New powers are learned by spending a perk and following the same rules as initial selection skill yeah so so right now we cannot we can't really do this because we can't take our own powers uh and we can't take all the powers from our from our skills so what i'm thinking is that we might have to um we might have to like pull back a little bit on something in order to make this work so um what do you what do you think in the chat? What do you think we should do? Uh, you know, this character is a kind of martial artist character. So we took a bunch of martial artist skills. Um, we took some weapon skills and then we tried to take a little bit of, of kind of rounding out skills. But um, that might just be something we um, we have to kind of pull back on. So in order to have two tens in a skill, we might want to we might have to drop our dexterity down to increase our spirit um, and drop our strength down. Unfortunately, a, a, a nine strength is still on this. A nine strength right now is, is still on the high side of uh, average, but, um, but it's kind of, you know, lowering our overall thing. So I guess we have to decide, like, do we really want psionics? It's going to be, you know, it's going to cost us quite a bit. It's going to cost us from our martial aspect uh, instead of just sort of adding it um, like I kind of envisioned it doing. But we are sort of running into the issue uh, where, you know, we need our dexterity, our strength, and then our spirit and our mind. So we kind of need four out of the five attributes, which can be difficult when you have a limited number of points to spend. Uh, we just sort of have to decide what this character is going to be. Are they going to be really good at something? Or are they going to be kind of just average at the things they do? And then as we gain in, in experience, obviously we get better. Um, so this is, you know, understanding that this is a, a beginning character. And I, I've not played the system. I, I picture I take that back. I played it once. I played it at um, Bill Slavic's X table at uh, Chupacabra Con in 2017, I want to say. Um, and so that was a really fun game. I'd never played it before. But aside from that, you know, that was a few years ago now. Um, I haven't played it. So I'm, I'm not sure the, you know, the need to kind of be hyper specialized or not. But I think, I think, you know, without uh, anyone's comments from chat, I think, uh, I think we'll just kind of even them out a little bit. Uh, so let's go make my dex nine so that gives us another point so we can add that to spirit and then let's make our strength eight and then we can also give that to spirit now that puts us in a um in a pretty good spot right now c40 below says the story arc of just discovering psi powers and watching them grow seems fun i say give just a touch of psi for now but plan on upping it later well, yeah, but we get three powers. And so in order to use those three powers, um, unless I just wanted to use three spirit powers, which is something I could do, I could lower the mind right now 
um, which allows us to get more of those spirit. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me do that. So this, hmm, let me make the mind eight. And, whoops. And dex, uh, we can up our dexterity back to 10 because I always felt like that was our most powerful thing. Hold on, I'm feeling like we're not even now. Uh, so it's, it's 26, 36, 42. Wait. It was supposed to be 40, right? So that's 16. Uh, 25, 35, 41. Yeah, so I've got one too many right now. So, let me drop that. Okay. So, that should be, I think that's it. All right. Um, so, now we also have to change our. Uh, change our skills to sort of match up because we have a limited number of points in skills as well and so we will put these where they need to be so if we're going to do precog uh, let's see our mind is now changed to eight and our spirit is now nine so now we can get away with one in each of these and that should um, that should do it so let's see, but now we still have to decide what are we gonna get rid of. Um, so we had first aid. We can. I feel like we can get rid of this because with kinesis later we can heal ourselves. I think one of the powers was to heal themselves. And so this, that, that doesn't really help for other people, but it is what it is, right? All right, and then I still like keeping our combat skills up. Maybe we just lower our melee a little bit. All right, so that's our two points. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so now we're good. So now our mind is uh our mind is eight and our spirit is nine. So now we're at nine and ten. I agree, dropping first aid seems like a good choice. Thanks. Yeah. Uh so so now we have uh you know, we can take awareness. We can't take this we can't take one of the other precog skills uh powers but we can take awareness and then we can maybe take a couple of kinesis spells so let's go check those out again uh, i think i'm just going to put awareness here because i'm pretty sure that is one we can take so where would i put that it looks like uh just have to put it here i'm just gonna switch these two spots There we go. All right, so now I can just put my powers here. I think I'm gonna put uh, awareness. And then we can look over those other uh, powers. I really like this picture, very evocative. So, yeah, let's look at activating. I haven't really, I don't think I've read this. Uh, so powers are activated with kinesis, precognition, or telepathy skills. A psi may activate, may only activate a single power per turn. Unlike miracles and spells, the psi does not need to speak or use her hands. Her power comes directly from the mind. Activating a power is a standard action against the listed difficulty number. I guess, uh, unless it is, unless its description says otherwise. If the total is successful, Check this power's standard good and outstanding success rules results. If the skill test fails, the size suffers two shock and also becomes very stymied on a mishap. Most size exhibit slight bleeding from the nose, mouth, or ears when either occurs. A telltale sign of psionic usage for those who know what to look for. Note that the difficulty numbers for many powers is the target's willpower or mind. If the target doesn't possess willpower, use mind. If the target has willpower, it adds to his mind rather than his spirit. And then there's some concentration and some stacking. All right. Um, so awareness is here. Um, let's go see what else for kinesis. <clears throat> what am I 
thinking. Uh, so I was just kind of looking at something that, oh, precognition. I keep getting confused as from precognition clairvoyance. It's not clairvoyance, it's precognition. All right, so we had, um, we can't use any of these ones. These are all telepathy. There's our precognition. So basically, what precogn uh, sorry, what awareness does is um, awareness senses strong impressions of future danger, increasing her and her allies' defenses while she maintains concentration. A success adds one to the size physical defenses and those of all her companions in range. It does not increase interaction defenses. Success level is good. The allies' physical defenses are increased by two. Outstanding as a good result, plus the range is increased to 20 meters. So that's pretty cool. I think that's an awesome power. All right, here's Energize, which is a, a skill 10 kinesis power. So that's definitely something that we can look at. Here's our other precognition power, but it was 14, so we're definitely not there yet. So Energize does. The Psy builds up psychic energy and channels it through his nervous system, granting him increased strength and dexterity for the duration of the power. This ability is highly taxing, however. As soon as the power ends, the Psy suffers two shock and a minus two penalty to strength and dexterity for the next minute. A standard success increases strength and dexterity by plus one. Success levels, good strength and dexterity increased by plus two. So normally it's plus one. Uh, an outstanding strength and dexterity increased by two and you do not suffer a penalty for the, after the duration ends. So that's cool. So, if unless there's other Kinesis 10 powers, that's probably one we'll take. Telepathy, telepathy, telepathy. Kinesis 12, so we're not quite there. We can't quite do that. That's the mending one that I was talking about. So, Psyonix with this power can increase their biological self-awareness to such a point that they can actually heal injuries they've suffered. An hour of rest and a successful test of Kinesis removes a wound. If the test is failed or the side doesn't heal all of her wounds, she may simply try again, though each test requires the full hour. So, so we're not quite there yet. Telepathy 10, Psychic Shield. Yeah, and Energize fits with the martial arts for sure. Read Mind is 10. There's Psychometry, which is, again, Precog 12. We're not, we don't have that. Uh, pyrokinesis is kinesis 12 we don't have that either kinesis 14 we don't have that kinesis 10 telekinesis all right so this this is the one thing that um you know is sort of an external power and so this sort of um it just doesn't blend seamlessly with our uh, you know with our character concept but it's something that still is, is in line so i think I think that's where we're going to be, right? Because I think that's the end. Yep, that, that is the end. So it looks like telekinesis um, awareness, which we already took, and energize. So let's go put that in there. So we got awareness. Telekinesis. And energize. Cool. Yeah, ener yeah, Energize fits well with Marshall. All right, so we've taken all of our, um, you know, all, all the things we needed to do from perks. Over here, I'm going to put this down here for our brawler, for our unarmed. Our damage is plus two. I'm just putting this here for now. We can change that later. All right, uh, so now we need to go back to our book and kind of see what the next step is. Uh, Storm Knights. We did our attributes, our skills, our perks. All right, so our defenses. So this is fill in the following defenses on your character sheet. These are the totals the enemy must get to harm your hero in combat. Dodge, your character's dodge skill plus any bonuses from perks or equipment dodge is the total foes must equal to hit the character range. So I, um, we don't currently have any equipment. We haven't done equipment yet, but we can come back to that if we want. So our cur current dodge is, looks like it's going to be 12. Let's go and fill these skills out. 10, 10. Oh, I think that changed actually. Uh, computers is mind. Our mind is now eight. 
Uh, our dexterity is now nine. Our find, which is our mind, is now eight. Reality was our spirit is now nine. Willpower also. So we're, yeah, we're kind of getting better. I, th I think we, we ended up boosting our skills in general by making those switches because we got rid of something else that used mind. So we're a little bit more average. Uh, you know, eight, eight to 10 is still high average. Six or seven is an average. So just as the base character, you know, we're sort of above average. All right, so I think we're good there. So let's switch these again. That's gonna be nine. Uh, that's gonna be 11, 10, and 10, 10, and nine and 10. All right, those are right. Cool. All right, so now our dodge is over here and we just said it is 11. All right, let's get back here, see our next one. Melee, your melee weapons plus any bonuses from perks or gear. Foes must get a total equal to or uh, equal to this or higher when the hero is armed. It's already filled out as 10 for our melee weapons. And we don't have any equipment yet, so that's not gonna do anything. Unarmed, your unarmed combat skill plus any bonuses. This is what enemies use to hit your character when she is armed, unarmed. So our unarmed is 12, all right? So we've got that, toughness. Characters resist damage with toughness, which is equal to their strength plus armor. See page 116 to see how damage works. All right, so uh, toughness is equal to strength plus armor. So our strength is eight, so our toughness here is eight. We have zero. We have zero armor. And I think our movement, we might have to change our movement, right? It looks like our movement is high, unless that's a racial thing. Let's go back and look at that. Because we changed our attributes. Movement heroes can walk up to their dexterity per round in meters, and you run three times that. So our dexterity is now nine. So here we are, nine and 27. All right. All right, let's see what's next. Shock and wounds. Characters suffer shock and wounds when injured as explained under combat. For now, record these values in the space provided on your character sheet. Shock, your hero's spirit. So that changed, so we need to check that, but although we haven't done it before, so it shouldn't matter. Your hero's spirit plus any bonuses from perks or other sources is the amount of shock he can take before being knocked out see page 116 if accumulated shock exceeds this number he's ko'd ignored any additional shock beyond this number so our shock should be equal to our spirit which is now nine uh and here we are looks like was that automatic no yep it's automatic all right and wounds. This is the number of wounds your character can take. Wounds in excess of this value means he's KO'd and must test for defeat. Ignore any additional wounds beyond this number. Um, as a rule, goons can only take a single wound before they're defeated. Storm Knights are KO'd and test for defeat when they take a wound beyond the third unless they've increased their wounds through perks. Okay. So we... We don't have any right now. This is the number of wounds your character can take. So it sounds like three, is that right? Um, it doesn't really say that, but is it three? Because down here it says, Storm Knights are KO'd and tasked for defeat when they take a wound beyond the third. So this is the number of wounds your character can take. I'm not seeing a number. So it kind of seems like it's three, and if I take more than that, or if I have other things, yes. All right, Padre says yes, yes, three, okay. All right, uh, now onto equipment. Heroes start with $1,000 in general. Carried equipment, the character may also have a home vehicle and so on that can be used when in his native realm. Most Storm Knights won't be able to stay home very often, however. Saving the world from reality raiders means traveling all over the globe. If the hero's home and possessions are in a ruined area like the living land, they won't be accessible either. A character who takes the wealthy perk starts up 
uh, starts with up to $10,000 in gear and a much nicer home, vehicle, and so on. So the equipment listing starting on page 138, or see the equipment listing starting on page 138 for a breakdown of available gear and how to acquire more. All right, let's go check that out. So, you know, I'm sure it's not that exciting to to watch someone buy things. So I don't know if we will play through this. Let's see. Talks about equipment availability, personal resources, general gear. So here's the general gear. Uh, and then there's specific like aisle items, cyber APC. That's cool. Living land items. Or our items, Pan Pacifica, Tharkold. Um, okay, well, it looks like there's not that much stuff in the basic. Uh, so we're probably pretty good unless there's some, there's probably, yeah, I was going to say there's equipment, or sorry, armor and weapons. Stab vest, tactical armor. Let's see what else is here. There's armor, all the different armors. Fatigue, whenever a fatigue result comes up on the conflict line of the character drama deck, the wearer suffers an additional shock. That's interesting. Full body armor. That's cool looking armor. Monster high duster. <laughs> nice. Technoderm hide. <laughs> the demon. That's awesome. All right, there's some shields, and you know, we're martial artists, so we're probably not going to have any of that stuff. And then weapons, we, we will have because we have, I think we, we took some, I think we have a little bit of fire combat. Yeah, we have a one, so, you know, we can definitely take a gun. All right, so let's get back to the beginning of this uh, gear, uh, general gear. So, we probably want some of this stuff. Um, you know, it doesn't look like there's not there's not a whole lot here, so uh, I think we'll be okay going running through it. So an ammo belt is probably not a bad idea. Um, a ghillie suit, I doubt we'll need. Climbing gear, yeah. Hands free comms, yeah. So let's do ammo belt. And come over here to our equipment. I'm gonna put this at the bottom because it's kind of general equipment. Probably doesn't have, yeah, it's tech 21, price is 50. Uh, so that's tech 21, price is 50. Let's look here. Climbing gear, ghillie suit, hands free comms, which is probably nice. So it's tech 23, price is 150. And oops, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna do a little calculator, probably off screen here. 150 and 50. If my calculator comes up. All right, uh, laser sight, mobile phone, uh, that's probably a good idea. Assuming we're staying in our tech, but who knows? So 23 and 150, or 23 and 300. Oops. I'm just writing down our uh, cost. So we, we've only got 500 left. So this one's going to be quick. That phone is expensive. Multi-tool, that's probably super useful. Um, night vision goggles, nylon rope, portable generator, radiation. Eesh. I want I want the multi tool. As a fan, I'm a personally a huge fan of my Leatherman. I always have one with me in the car. Uh, it's forty and twenty two. Actually, <laughs> funny story. So, uh, as I said, I'm I love uh, martial arts. Um, the reason I make martial arts characters a lot is because I personally love martial arts. I've been practicing martial arts since I was like 18. I know numerous styles. And um, one of the styles that I've more recently learned is uh, Aikido. And I was a Uchideshi, which is basically a live-in student at an Aikido dojo for a number of months. 
I lived there, practiced eight hours a day, and uh, actually got kicked out of that dojo because of a Leatherman. It's a pretty funny story. Um, maybe I'll tell it to you guys one day. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not like hilarious, but I think it's funny. So uh, love my multi-tool, love martial arts. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, so that's 40. So I need to subtract 40. So we're, we're down to 460. We've done all of our general gear. I don't think we need armor. I mean, we could perhaps, you know, get a, um, oh, that's shields, get a, um, like a, uh, ta uh, like a stab vest or a ballistic vest. Um, but I kind of feel like that um, doesn't really fit our character. So let's just leave it off for now. If we've got the extra 200 or 250, you know, we can we can come back to that. So melee weapons. So this is something we're definitely going to want. Um, the max. So it says get armor. It's useful. Yeah. Definitely, you know, that's definitely like next, but I want to make sure that we have some weapons and then we'll kind of see where we're at. Um, so we'll see. So there's chainsaw, machete, truncheon, axes for aisle, blades. Uh, is this just aisle axes or is all of this aisle? Um, and can you not get the other stuff? It seems like it seems like you should still be able to have blades in core earth, right? There, you know, we meet the tech thing, so yeah, I think I think it means we can get that. Yeah, so like we could, probably couldn't get a power dagger dagger or a riot stick since we're from core earth. So at least I hope that's what it means. Living land, Nile, Arorsh, Pan Pacifica, Darkhold. All right, so you know. We are a martial artist. What do you what do you think we should do with um, with uh, weapons? Spears are nice, but you know probably not too applicable to be carrying around with us. We could always go for the old katana, <laughs> especially with that leather jacket you're talking about, Maxis. <laughs> uh, let's just you know. I'm just gonna go right now with um, with a dagger and a short sword. Even though it would just be like you know a knife and a short sword. So let's throw that in there. So it's tech eight plus one twenty five small. Come over here to dagger. Tech eight twenty five plus one was damage I think. Padre says you can take anything, but it causes contradictions if it's over your tech. Right, right. All right, so that was our dagger. Oh, it's plus one. That bonus is, is damage. Is that damage? I assume that's what it is. Uh, and then what did I say? It's short sword. Eight plus two for 90. Eight plus two. 90 all right so this is minus 25 and minus 90 all right we're down to 345 if we're gonna have a a gun we might have to i'm just gonna go like this slash short sword There we go. Now it kind of gives us, frees us up a bit. All right, to have a, a weapon. All right, uh, let's go back over here. So we've got our melee weapons. Missile weapons, We I think we ended up ditching our missile weapon skill just because you know we only had so many skills. So let's go to firearms. You know, I think looking over here, the next things are like occult tech, heavy weapons, special ammo, explosives, and vehicles. So 
you know, I don't think we're going to get any of that. It said we already it said we could have a vehicle because it said we had a house. We could also have a vehicle, so we'll definitely take that. Uh, so here are firearms, and I, I'm thinking, you know, just a, a kind of pistol. We probably don't need anything too heavy. Let's see, what are those? Our skills are are yeah, just melee combat or fire combat one. So. You know, let's go back and look. This this might where be where we look at that armor that you were talking about that someone suggested heavily. So I see, I only see stab vest, stab vest, tactical armor. Someone had mentioned a leather jacket. Um, I'm not really seeing a leather jacket. Let's see. flight jacket pretty much that's that so that's a uh, 75 as opposed to 200 so yeah yeah we can probably do a flight jacket uh, let's see monster hide duster <laughs> I love that idea uh, we just need that katana then huh uh, so let's go with um, Let's just go with that leather jacket, F flight jacket, 19 plus 1, 75. Flight jacket, tech 19, plus 1 bonus, 12 dex. So let's come over here, armor. Um. Here we go. Flight jacket, 19 tech, plus one bonus, 12 max decks. Did that duplicate that in that? Interesting. Uh, plus, what did it say? Plus one decks. Uh, flight jacket, uh, 12 max decks. I don't. I think we're. We're good with that. Oh, these are duplicated. That's a weird. Hmm. Does this do that too? Yep. All right, I'll have to talk to the folks who made this, and that one looks a little funky. So what do we call this flight jacket? All right, so let's get to firearms. All right, um, so we've got 270 and it looks like uh price so yeah we're gonna be pushing it um can't have a rifle it's just gonna be a pistol personally i'm personally a fan of the 45. it's got a little lower tech i'm not sure what that you know how often that difference comes up of two uh it's got a little more damage a little less ammo but let's uh, let's go with it. So forty-five automatic, and that's uh, two fifty. So we got twenty bucks left. But we might have to buy some ammo. I don't remember if I saw that on there. Forty-five. Uh, so this is tech twenty, damage fourteen, ammo seven. Range is 10, 20, 50, and no special notes. Except for it costs how much? 250. All right, let's go back and look real quick to see if ammo belt climbing tool. So it appears that you don't have to buy ammo. Does anybody, can anybody verify that? I feel like in this game, that could be definitely something that you're not doing. Let's see ammo. How many clips the weapon holds? Mm -mm -mm. Looks like there's different kinds of ammo, perhaps armor piercing. Oh no, it's just it's the weapons damaging. Ignores armor piercing. 
So yeah. <clears throat> 45 Colt Automatic. So I'm not seeing, um, not seeing ammo, so I'm gonna assume we don't need it. Uh, and so we've got 20 bucks left. I think we're gonna call that there. Is there a spot for money? Doesn't look like it. XP. All right, I'm just gonna put money, 20 bucks. All right, uh, let's go look at our character creation section. We got a movement done, shock and wounds. We did our equipment and that's it. So I think we are done here. We made our core earther, a human martial artist, scion, psionic character, psi character. Uh, you know, we, we bumped up their reality a lot since we since we added more to our spirit. That kind of helped us quite a bit. So I think, um, you know, th at the end there, we changed, changed the character uh, quite a bit. But I think it falls in line better. And it lets us create a little bit more rounded character. We could have kept what we had. But then we would have only had um, one power that we could have used for precognition, which, you know, Sometimes, you know, your your sort of character concepts have to change based off of the game rules. And so uh, I think I think we've done it for the day. Um, I'm sure I'll probably be creating another character uh, next time. It will probably, you know, go much quicker now that I kind of know what I'm doing. So the first character I created was a Fading Suns character, and then I created a Dark Eye. And now I've got this Tord character. Um, when I do get back into it again, I'll probably start doing that, or I might just... I might just create a Fading Suns character next, so that would be on on Friday. I might start with another Fading Suns character since if you guys are backers of the Fading Suns um, Kickstarter, uh, we just released the manuscripts for, for backers to take a look at um, as well as the character sheet so people can start creating their own characters, which is uh, which should be fun. I'm excited to see what people come up with. Um, and so we cr the first character we created for that was also a psionic a uh, martial art character, a noble, and so I would be creating more of their retinue. Um, in addition, if if you are a backer for that um, and you want to kind of know more about the uh, about those books and have questions about them, uh, uh, Bill Bridges and Andrew Greenberg are going to return on May fifth, I believe the date is. What the next Tuesday is? Come on, I think it's May fifth. Um, to sorry yeah i think it's my fifth to um talk about fading suns the manuscript and um character creation and a lot all that kind of stuff so come check out heretical musings at uh should be at 11 a.m i'm uh, sorry 2 p.m pacific on this channel on tuesday uh there are other shows that are we have on the ulysses spilla um streams uh, both youtube and twitch uh, that include um, some games. We have some actual play games, some Torg. Normally Tuesday is Torg. Last night uh, the GM had a headache, and so he uh, had a migraine, couldn't run it. Hopefully Thursday they will be back to Fading Suns. Uh, and then we should have on Saturday a, a solo play with Eric uh, playing Aventuria. Uh, next week we're going to have another Torg. We should have a, another Torg uh, game come up. I uh, can't really talk too much about it yet, um, but it is uh, it will be hosted by Greg Gordon, the line manager, uh, the line developer for Torg Eternity. Uh, I think that'll be really fun, and it is a, a an innovative, innovative and unique way to run a stream game. So it has lots of audience participation. So definitely check that out when when we announce more about it. Uh, but I think that's all for me for today. Um, oh, if you're fans of Torg, definitely go check out. If you missed the Isle crowdfunding, you can go to the website now, and all of the Isle content is available for purchase. Uh, if you are into Magic of Aventuria or into Aventuria and uh, the Dark Eye, the Magic of Aventuria books are also available for purchase. Uh, so go check those out on the website. So thanks again. I'm Robert Aducci, and uh, this is Ulysses uh, International. Bye bye.